to the video. If you like these real talk time videos, give the video a thumbs up. If you all like the fake stuff, people lying to your face about health and fitness, give the video a thumbs down. Uh, dragon fruit, let's talk about steroids and dragon fruit. Anabolic steroids, what does it feel like? This is how you open dragon fruit, by the way. You put your fingernail in there, just go around. What does it feel like to be on anabolic steroids? There's many types of steroids. You've got corticosteroids, you've got the asthma drug steroids, which I first started taking when I was eight years of age. So I've been on steroids since I was about eight years of age, various times. Now, in terms of anabolic steroids, I first started using those in 2014. And if you go back to some of my videos in 2014, you can type in testosterone, do writing, do it to see. 2014 when I first started experimenting with anabolic steroids uh, people say why did you start using steroids um, many reasons many reasons a big one was personal curiosity I was like man like what, what does it feel like to be on steroids you know what you know being a cyclist and runner and you know you've seen all these doping look at my ears like a wing nut um, you know if you see like all these things on on doping in sports like running, like the 100 meter sprinters, all of all of them, all the Olympic 100 meter sprinters using anabolic steroids plus EPO, etc. They got to win. They get paid to win. Cycling, actually, you can be a professional cyclist clean. To be a top of the top champion with the big money is eh, running marathon. You can't win the big marathons, natty. Um, you can't win the UFC fights, natty. You know all these big money sports drugs is part of the deal. Um, that's why they all have doctors. You ever notice they've always got doctors, always got a team doctor, national doctor. There's always a doctor around. It's like, hang on, what do I need a doctor for? Like, you know, <laughs> nurses do the bandages. Like, what do you need a doctor for? It's to manage the drugs. Um, now, a lot of these drugs are legal, blah, blah, blah. We're going on tangent. Why did I start using them? Personal curiosity, all right? Performance enhancement, what does it feel like, etc. And secondly, probably the biggest one is just to show people how easy and common anabolic steroids performance enhancing drugs are to obtain legally from your doctor i don't recommend getting stuff online i recommend getting it from your local family doctor your local family doctor so that way you know what you're getting is is what you're getting you know when you get an ample of sus 250 from the family doctor you know that's sus 250 if you buy that online that could be anything that could be absolutely anything all right remember the people who are selling these drugs online in the black market, it's all about that. Obviously, Big Pharma's all about that too, but at least you know what you're getting with Big Pharma. Black Pharma, <laughs> online Pharma, black market Pharma, dark web Pharma, you don't know what you're getting. Right? Some of it is legit, some of it ain't. Some of it's dilute. Right? So I tested on my, on my steroid test kit that I bought online, and it said it's got it in there. I'm like, yeah, of course. You know, but how much is in the, how much compounds in the mill? You don't know. You don't know. But when you buy them from Bayer, etc., you know what you're getting. Mmm. Dragon fruit. This is incredible. Now, I don't normally like dragon fruit because it's pretty tasteless, but this stuff, man, we got the gold hit. I bought two dragon fruit of this melt seller, tasted them. I was like, legit. Went back, got five kilos. I'll put this down. This is, oh. Nothing better than waking up, having a bit of loving, and then having a fruit meal of quality fruit. It's a great way to start the day. I'm out here, it's actually quite sunny today, high UV, so we're giving the sun coverage. Uh, so that's, yeah, that's why I started using, using the anabolics. So I've been using it on and off since 2014. And um, this year I've stayed on more, though. I've, you know, I've, st I've, off. I've stayed on more. And my weight has skyrocketed. I'm 80 kilos, I'm probably 81 kilos right now. Then you scale or a stand. So 80 kilos. This is the first time in my life I've been this heavy. People are like, hey, heavy. Looks a little scrawny. Look like a twig behind you. You know, can't tell you between the difference between the stem there. Uh, but for me, 20 kilos extra weight. Same diet. Same training, running, bit of cycling. And just, <laughs> weight's just gone <laughs> right up there. That's the power of anabolic steroids, this was so popular. Now, obviously, the, the more you take, the more muscle you retain. That's just how it is. So it's linear, literally linear with testosterone. That's why you see with studies done, the more the person takes in the study, the more lean muscle mass they sprout, literally. It's it's insane. Um, 
and you know so it's what does it feel like to be on steroids so whew, we could do a deep dive into that one uh, it depends what steroids you're taking it depends if your steroids are actually <laughs> real or dilute or pharma great that's the big difference uh, i've been in thailand where i've taken some ananthate from a pharmacy that was maybe dubious and i was like oh yeah i can i can, I can feel this is legit but it didn't feel as strong as something from beta in australia here or germany it, it felt different even though it's the same dosage it, def, it felt different same my same diet my same daily diet my same daily lifestyle routine you can feel it all right you can feel the difference um what does it feel like to be on steroids and testosterone i'll say because there's all types of steroids there's, you know how many steroids are there out there? How many anabolic steroids are there? It's like hundreds, hundreds. So let's keep on testosterone for this video. What does it feel like to have testosterone high levels, high levels running through your bloodstream, through your muscles, through your, down there, through your veggie meat? Um, it feels pretty amazing. It feels pretty amazing. It feels like you're going to bed, for me, at 7 p.m. every night, all right? It feels like you got enough carbohydrates in your system all the time. You just get enough carbs in. It feels like you're hydrated all the time. Uh, that's how it feels. If someone's like, oh, what, what I, wanna, I don't want to take steroids. I'm not saying you should. I'm just saying, just being transparent here. What it feels like. If you go to bed at 7 p.m. every night, if you drink enough water so you're peeing clear every two or three hours, if you're e eating unlimited carbohydrate, as much carbs as you want, that's as close as it's going to feel like if when you're on testosterone, pharma grade testosterone, 100 to 300 milligram a week. That's how it feels inside yourself. Libido wise, etc. There can be variances in individuals. Um, obviously, with muscle growth, you know, the food's not going to create muscle. If food created muscle, <laughs> people would be like, not never using steroids, all right? <laughs> They're like, just why? Someone said yesterday, just just, just drink chocolate milk. <laughs> just drink chocolate milk. And I said, bro, are you, are you trolling? He's like, no, no, I'm, I'm being legit. And I'm like, come on, man, like, are you serious, bro? This this person, he was sincere, but sincerely wrong. Probably watch some Kino body or some other fake natty out there. What does fake natty mean? Fake natty means the people who use steroids but lie about it. And they go, you, got, you, you can get this transformation just by buying my program, my, you know, Superman body program for 100 bucks or 40 bucks or whatever. And these people get zero results compared to how the person looks who's selling them, you know. Uh, so this person just, that's what happens. And then it becomes this disinformation, this fake news out there where people are like, oh, but, 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 but. And that's a, that's a big reason why I do these videos. I lose a lot of credibility for a lot of mainstream people want to make these videos, but I don't care. I'm not here to have mainstream approval, to have mainstream people go, Dude, Ryder, I love you, man. You're the best. By, by me being fake, uh, yeah. it makes me want to vomit. It makes me want to vomit. That, you know, I, I don't want that level of approval. I want, I, I enjoy approval. First of all, I'll give approval myself, living the life how I want, heart my sleeve, etc. But I enjoy approval from people who know the truth, who see the truth, who go, yeah, truth seekers uh, versus half truth seekers or people are like, oh, you know, that's not true. Michael Jordan didn't take steroids. Michael Phelps didn't take steroids. Lance Armstrong was a dirty cheat. <laughs> he was the only one who took drugs in cycling. Marathon runners don't take drugs. Tennis players don't take drugs. Rafa Nadal's natural. <laughs> it's just hard work. It's hard work, but the steroids let you work harder. These top-level professional athletes are like crazy, insane people. Not in good or bad ways, just crazy, insane in the, the OCD shit. And you put these people with that genetics, that mindset... Put them on the steroids, the hormones, etc., the PEDs, performance sensing drugs, and that's what it takes to become a champion in mainstream sport. That's a fact. Right? And the sooner you understand that, the sooner you can see the world, the Olympic sports, for what it is. Now, not all Olympians take steroids. Only the big, big champions do in the champion sports. There's plenty of sports. And Olympics are like, oh, I didn't know that was an Olympic sport. And those people are probably natty, you know, to an extent, mostly. 
but the mainstream, the 100 meter sprint, the freestyle, the tennis, the basketball, you know, that's where you take steroids, you jump higher, you slam dunk faster, you recover from injury quicker, you got more energy for your training and crazy lifestyle. So they just help. So, you know, it's that's what it feels like to be on steroids. It feels very, you feel healthier, all right? Healthy, it's testosterone, I should say. You feel healthier. Um, you feel healthy. <laughs> the steroids, testosterone, was introduced in the 1930s, synthesized in the 1930s, been around 1890s, people experimenting with it, but you know, first officially synthesized in the 1930s to help burns victims, to help people in the prison of war detention. Oh, that bird. Um, it's, I love this organic fruit farm here. It's just crazy. It's just crazy what the life, the bird life, and the spiders here. Uh, it was designed to help people restore health. Right? And so, you know, obviously, people can abuse it, taking five grams of testosterone a week can give you crazy blood pressure for some people. Um, but yeah, these, these drugs were designed to restore health in people. That's why, what's the, have you ever heard of anyone overdosing on testosterone? Me either. Now, I'm not saying that, you know, you should go out there and use a kilo a week of test. I'm just saying that. Aspirin is much more dangerous than testosterone, and that's just you know, that's just not my opinion, that's fact. People die every day from aspirin overdose, Tylenol overdose, you know, tramadol overdose, etc., oxycodones, all these things, you know, just killing, killing your liver, etc. Um, now, there's a lot of oral anabolic steroids that are quite liver toxic, you know, if you use them for long periods, high dosages, long term, um, but uh, yeah. So what's going to say about it? Um, just wanted to do a little video about what it feels like to be on. You know, it is just when you're lifting weights on testosterone and other animal steroids, it feels incredible. You feel so strong. You feel so motivated to lift weights, assuming you've got enough carbohydrate in your system. All right, without the carbs, nothing really works as good. Um, roid rage. I'm going to say that roid rage in my opinion, is due to people not eating enough carbohydrate, you know. And this is where people are going to come, no, 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 no. you have never taken pharma-grade steroids. You're not speaking from personal experience, all right? When you don't get enough carbohydrate, I was talking a couple of times where I've ran out of carbs, been a bit busy or just whatever, and I can, I can feel my glycogen's getting low, and I'm thinking, wow, I'm starting to like, my temper's starting to come up, and it feels a little bit uncontrollable, but I'm, you know, I'm a very controlled person like that. I love being in control, and uh, I can feel it bottling up, you know, coming up, bubbling up, and I'm like, oh, I get some carbs in, oh, control comes back in, and so what happens here is people trying to cut down and get leaner, cut their carbs out, which is the stupidest thing ever, people, never cut your freaking carbs, ever, unless you want to destroy your mood and vitality, all right, cutting carbs is the dumbest on dumb things ever, all right, please people. Always eat enough carbohydrate. Cut the fat intake right back. If you want to get as lean, like my abs are just popping out. I've got veins on veins. I eat a low-fat diet, man. You know, and I'm always in a good mood because I'm carbon up. And if I'm not in a good mood, just haven't had enough carbs. I you a carbohydrate addict. <laughs> it's like, oh, I'm a sleep addict too. If I don't get my early nights and get enough sleep, I don't feel as good. Are you a sleep addict? If I hold my breath and can't breathe properly, I don't feel, I feel bleh. Oh, you're an oxygen addict. These people out there. <laughs> you get, that's why their performances always suffer in life. And it's sad to see. It frustrates me. Um, roid rage. Um, so yeah, the people cut their carbs and then they're just flipping out, man. Oof. You got a 120 kilo person, a lot of steroids, and then they're cutting the carbs out. Man, that, and, they, and they've already got a temper to start with. Boom. Boom. And then those people roid rage out. And it's not roid rage, it's keto rage and then they give people just give steroids a bad rep so i can just speak from personal experience here that's the deal you get enough carbohydrates testosterone man makes you a super caring person you know in my, in my opinion you're super generous you're super fair you super want to communicate you, you just, it, for me it enhances who i am as an individual all right oh um, what does it do for you? Training, for cycling, it kills motivation to ride bikes. You know, you don't, I'm like, eh, I'll do some, I'll do some riding, but I don't want to do any long epic stuff. That's why I started to see 
when I started using steroids, when I started using performance enhancing drugs, my desire for training went down. I stopped doing epic, crazy miles. I'm going to say that having normal testosterone, low normal testosterone is better for doing crazy miles because all you care about is riding your bike. You don't care about sex. You don't care about, you know, chasing women or, you know, doing stuff like that. You just like, I just want to ride my bike, you know. You have zero, well, not zero, but you just have a lot more um, interest in cycling and running and, you know, and nature and stuff like that. But when your testosterone is a lot higher and your estrogen comes up as well, you become more, you know, Casanova-like. You know, this is how, how it is. So, which can be good and bad. You know, it can be good and bad. All my girlfriends have got pretty crazy libidos. Uh, I'm not sure how it ends that way. No complaints here, but I'm just saying it's uh, a satisfied woman is a, a good woman to have in your life. Let's just say that. Um, in terms of, um, you know, we can't really get too deep on YouTube because obviously there's rules and regulations here. Uh, maybe we can create OnlyFans for the more explicit things that you experience on testosterone and other stuff. I think we'll have to create the only OnlyFans for that one. Um, because, yeah, there's a lot of myths out there with steroids and libido, etc., which uh, which probably wouldn't be too parent for a uh, child. For, yeah, I, I won't go there because I don't want to have my... My account's already pretty shadow banned as it is. We don't want to get it more shadow banned. Um, Instagram shadow banned, Twitter's shadow banned. Um, this YouTube also getting more shadow banned as we as, as we come along. Well, that's fine. That's just how it is. Um, but yeah, steroids has very been a very very interesting path. And people say, oh, you know, you, but you you've been making fun of steroid users, and now you're taking steroids. You're a hypocrite. You've got zero credibility, Duro. Now I've never ever made fun of steroid users. It's always been the fake natties, the people who say I don't use steroids. That's context, people. Context. Uh, I don't care if people use steroids, but if you're going to lie to kids out there, like Kino Body, Athlean X, Greg Duche, etc., oh, I just use a little bit. 